Hello everybody, how are you doing? So I wanted to come on tonight and do a quick message for you for this new moon in Taurus, okay? And just get some messages for the collective. So this is a collective reading, it's not sign specific. If you have a specific uh, question or situation that you would like some guidance around, please do set that intention and hold that energy in your heart to be answered in a clear and concise way. And if you are just here to be open to receive the messages or you were attracted to the title, then I welcome you as well. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all of your love and support, your beautiful comments, your likes, and your uh, support just and for joining this community. I'd love to hear Hear from you so please do uh, leave a comment hit the like button send me a message whatever works for you I'm so happy to have you here and if you're just finding this randomly then welcome to you as well so I would just like to uh, call in the divine with love and light and the archangels at the four corners of the world the guides the ascended masters and spirit to join us here on this beautiful new moon in Taurus so let's get some oracle messages for you and see what spirit wants you to know. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, guides. Thank you, angels. There we go. Clairvoyance. <laughs> Beautiful. I love this energy. It says inspiration, interpretation, and trust. So many of you who are watching this uh, really may have um, the ability to see beyond the veil and um, you have visions. Um, this is this is something, it's a gift and an ability that you innately have that you came in with from lifetimes. Uh, this is your soul speaking to you. It's you connecting with spirit, with your guides, and um, the ability to prophesize. And uh, this is where you're highly intuitive and you can hear spirit or you can see visions. So the guides really want you to know this on this new moon. That may be something that you've been actively working on or wondering about, you know, you may already be a reader. And so this is just like a nod to your ability um, and telling you like to keep going with that. So it's also about trusting the messages that you receive. So just, you know, for any of you who are watching this, who are like, well, I don't really know if I'm clairvoyant or psychic, uh, then it's about trusting your intuition. And you could be an avid dreamer, like someone who has very vivid dreams. And that's where you've receive messages throughout your life. So spirit is even telling you right now just to pay extra attention to your dreams, uh, any repeating messages. So if you keep getting like the same messages and then maybe you hear a song or you see a specific number sequence and it's validating that or confirming that for you, uh, your guides really want you to pay attention to that, okay? So clairvoyance coming out. It's a really beautiful energy. I really like that that's what came out for us. Uh, and there's a purity there, you know, it's very simple. There aren't a whole lot of bells and whistles here, like if you notice, it's very simple. She's just looking into a, like a small pool of water or bowl of water, and that's where she's receiving her messages from. So some of you, that may be like your medium of receiving your messages is actually looking into water. So, and if, if that's resonating for you, then that may be something that you want to try. And she's holding like this very simple, uh, small branch with leaves on it. So it's also about your connection to earth. And we are in a Taurus new moon, so it is very earth connected. Yes, at the bottom of the deck is clarity. So this is seeing with like the eagle eye here, with your third eye, uh, it's you, it, this is spirit coming to you. Some of you, um, the eagle may be a totem for you or a guide for you. It says planning and releasing illusion. So um, right now, uh, anything around what you are trying to achieve or accomplish your goals, uh, this is showing that you're going to have great clarity around those goals, 
great clarity around your plans and your, you know, future hopeful achievements that you have a very high vantage point right now. So it's going into clairvoyance and clarity. That's the, these two words are actually connected. Uh, if you look at linguistics, clarity and clairvoyance, all of the different clairs. So yours seems to be about sight because it's voyance. So uh, inner sight. Okay, so yours is, seems to be something about your sight is very, very important. Uh, the eagle eye, like you, you're able to see a lot right now. Really, really trust yourself. All of this yellow, it's about optimism and confidence. It's the solar plexus chakra. So really, really having confidence in yourself right now and also taking action. So that's the message that I'm getting from this. It's really amazing. Uh, underneath that was about instinct. Uh, you're like being in your power. And um, there's a nod to the full moon. So we're in a new moon and the next full moon is going to be in Sagittarius and it's a full lunar eclipse. We're kicking off eclipse season at the end of May. Uh, so again, like trusting your instincts, really trusting yourself, uh, knowing how powerful you are. So let's just get a couple of tarot cards. We'll try to keep this short, but this is the message that's coming in for the new moon. Um, it's really amazing. It's very, very spiritual. It's very higher level. Um, but there's still a connection to the earth there because she's holding that branch with, you know, with those leaves. So she's still very much grounded. Okay. And let's just take the ones that fell out. Uh, the five of materials. Oh gosh, this is so interesting. So we have the five and the 10 here. The five of materials is where there's lack. It's like the poverty card. Um, it's sort of like where we felt ghosted, left out in the cold, left to do it on our own. And then the 10 of pentacles or 10 of materials is about total abundance and community and family. And all of it's like the acorn that grows into the oak tree. But in this case, it's like this giant rose tree and everyone standing around it and in, in, standing around it uh, in celebration of how much abundance they have and joy and family community so it's very opposing energies and i feel like this is what spirit's trying to show you um is that this is where you're meant to be <clears throat> this is where you know, you're going. So anything around lack, not having enough, um, this is what's really there for you. Okay. The fives <clears throat> are, excuse me, uh, are the situations that bring in change, but they can feel very tumultuous, um, very difficult, very challenging. 2021 is a five year, two plus two plus one equals five. So this is where there's going to be growth. And these are the catalysts for change. And this is earth energy. So in this Taurus new moon, here's the earth energy. Um, and you have inner sight. You have, you have something. You have to trust yourself. So if you have plans as to how to get from here to here, trust them. Okay. Yes. Because now we have the wheel of fortune. So the energy is going to shift. It's going to move. This is a card of Jupiter. It's a card of completing a cycle. And this is where uh, you're wrapping up some karma. So some of these situations where you may have felt, um, I'm just going to take a sip, excuse me. Okay, where you may have felt like um, you were robbed of something. You didn't get what you deserved. You put in a lot of work, but you didn't see the return. <clears throat> you lost money. You lost something. Um, that's shifting. It's shifting for you. Um, and those things, they weren't meant to be. They really weren't meant to be. So now the Wheel of Fortune is coming in. The energy is shifting. We've got two tens together. And when you add 10 and 10, it's 20, which is judgment. So this is um, a second chance, okay? This is, um, this situation, um, these situations were helping you get on your soul's path. These were things that weren't right for you, but they were lessons that you had to learn and things that you had to move through in order to get this wheel moving. So what's coming out under that is that, yes, you are going to have a totally new perspective, a change of perspective. This is where you're like, you're enlightened uh, about, about um, building your foundation, about the people that are 
are there to work with you about who you can collaborate, who you can team up with. You see how these people are sort of braided together. It's like this beautiful energy of being woven together. So this is like your family here in the physical world. You have better discernment now. Um, the hanged muse, like she's here in this pose uh, and she's pausing here. So this is where like you may have felt sort of stuck, but inside of that energy, uh, you're shifting your perspective. You're receiving an enlightenment around things. It's all pentacles. So it's about, you know, your wealth. It's about your stability, your foundations. It's about, you know, getting to this 10 pentacles. The three of pentacles is sort of like how you leverage into the 10 of pentacles. So this is also about like, you know, you, you've learned lessons. You've become wiser as to how to get to this. You need to have this strong, um, the strong connection, if that makes sense. Like I said, this energy of the braids. Um, in native cultures, you know, they wear braids because braids are protective. It's a way to protect your hair and your hair represents like your connection to spirit. So braids are very protective. So it's like, who's protecting your ideas, your wealth, who's really working with you to get here. So um, you may have some ideas because I'm with this yellow and this yellow, you may be receiving some messages clairvoyantly, again, through dreams, through visions, through repeated messages from the universe. Your universe is telling you something, your guides, your highest self. You may be receiving these messages or having these visions of doing something. That's the something that's going to lead to this. Spirit really wants you to trust it. Um, it is written. That's also the Wheel of Fortune. It's like what's written in stone versus what's really not. Like what was okay to to um, to let die or go away or move away from you, even if it was painful and it caused you a lot of worry and concern. Um, there's just a total shifting of that energy, you guys. And it's so interesting with this Taurus new moon that this really is all pentacles energy. So a lot of you may be having shifts in your business life, in your career. You know, for some of you, this is just relating to relationships. Pentacles, you know, absolutely can represent our relationships, you know, because it's things in the physical and our relationships are physical. We're humans, you know, being at the bottom of the deck was the muse of materials. This is king of pentacles. So this is showing like you have an entrepreneurial spirit. Um, he is the entrepreneur. He's the businessman. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. This guy, you know, ha, or this muse here has been so inspired, um, by their own, ideas by their own drive uh, to really grow something solid and be a leader and be a provider. He's very reliable. So it's showing that you do have great integrity. Everything he touches turns to gold. This is your underlying energy. Like this is who you are. So this is who you are, but the world may have been showing you something different. It's testing you. It has tested you. And I know how difficult that is. So where there was lack, there will be teamwork and support and something strong that can't be broken. Uh, there will be people that will be there uh, to work with you and they'll be very protective of you. And this is what you're going to be growing. And um, the Wheel of Fortune can symbolize windfalls of money, luck. It's Jupiter. Jupiter expands things. So this is also about getting your vibration high, surrendering, surrender to spirit right now, surrender to your own guidance, surrender to your own inner vision. Um, there's a surrender here. And this is also an energy of sacrifice. So for some of you, you may have to sacrifice some things in your life that are no longer serving you. You may have to be the person that says, to a certain situation, you know what, this isn't working out and I got to go. So that's for some of you. Um, but yes, you are coming up as this king of pentacles. It's really amazing. So let's get you um, a message. Uh, let's get you a numerology card and just see like what the numerology message is, what the numbers may be for you. It's a really beautiful reading for a Taurus new moon. Like you really can't make this up. Yes. Karmic completion. 
There's your karmic completion. You're completing this cycle, the 10 and the 10, another 10. So you're completing a big cycle, you guys. And it's a gray area. You know, you may not, like, it's not black and white. There's a lot of gray here. So, um, and here's your root chakra. Here's your ability to provide and uh, be abundant and feel safe and feel steady like the King of Pentacles. So I'm going to leave it there for you guys. That was a really uh, amazing message for the Taurus new moon. Absolutely beautiful. So you guys uh, take really, really good care. Enjoy the new moon. You know, trust yourself, get your plans moving, and I will talk to you all soon. Okay. Namaste. Bye-bye.